Now, 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is at a voting location in Redford Township. And Julie, how many people have you seen come out? And what are we talking about in terms of cost? Glenda, we're talking about a ridiculous amount of money, $650,000. And guess how many people came out here to precinct number five? Five people, and they all work here at the polling location. So what former U.S. Rep Thaddeus McCotter did to the people and to the taxpayers here is being called selfish by the Oakland County clerk. He told me over the phone this morning that it would have been cheaper and better for taxpayers if McCotter had just stayed at home instead of resigning. Now each county involved will have to shell out $50,000 for this election. They haven't budgeted for it and it could force them to cut city services like police and fire if the state does not reimburse them. Now there are five Republicans on the ballot today to face off against Democrat David Kirsten on November 6th. Whoever wins will only serve seven weeks, but likely that will only be six weeks after all the votes have been verified. But on that same day on November 6th, people will also have to decide who will take charge of the seat in January when the new term begins. So that's on the ballot at the same time. And that race pits Republican Kerry Bentivoglio against Democratic trustee Syed Taj. Now, this also is not a typical election day here. School's in session here, and that's also been a big problem, say the people working at the location. Not only is this school the first week for parents, that's what they're focused on. It's also just after a holiday, which is also not typical for voters. We're live in Redford Township. Julie Bonvich, 7 Action News. All right, thanks for the update, Julie.